Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. We still look at the structure here as a possible 1-2 setup with a WXY structure overshooting X-Wave. We're now coming down in the Y-Wave. Um, in the Y-Wave, we've already completed an A-Wave, a B-Wave. We're now in the C-Wave. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the entire chart again. Um, if you're interested in that information, either check out our long-term video playlist where we also talk about all-time high targets or check out, I think in the last video I also gave you a, a wider or a larger out, outlook or outlook of the bigger pit, picture. Um, but here, because not too much happened, instead we're actually following the count, um, just wanted to zoom in and we take a look at the shorter time frame. And um, looking at this structure, we say we are in a C wave. Here we likely completed a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four and we could now be coming down in a fifth wave. I'm counting the move down as an ending diagonal. So if I zoom in a little bit, we can see that also in the fifth wave, I'm watching here for this ABC structure because of the idea of an ending diagonal. Now we might need to change that out a little bit because the C wave gets now very long and wide compared to the A wave. Yeah, so we had five waves down at the time in wave A we had a nice three wave move up in the B wave. That's all, you know, that's all fine. And by the way, I take resistance out, but that was at the time resistance here for the fourth wave. So um, we did hold that well. Um, but what I mean is, see, this A wave is now quite short compared to what we've got here, but I'm not gonna do it now or yet, because at the moment it's just following the count. Um, looks like we had a wave one, a wave two, a wave three. Also all in an ending diagonal again in a C wave. It's very choppy. Um, and it could be, by the way, I need to just move that wave for here. No, I don't. Um, so that this is now the fifth wave where we had a one, two, three, maybe this and one more tiny low, but we'll see it. You know, it it is forecasted to go longer, lower as long as we don't see an impulse to the upside, but it could very well be targeting the lower boundary line again of this descending wedge. And we've got the golden ratio there at six at $19.11. So this is good confluence of support here. Um, it sort of nicely broke below the previous swing low here or just forming sort of a double bottom possibly or triple bottom. But ideally it makes one more low and then we have the pattern complete. It can still go lower and extend there, but it is anyway already the time where we need to be watching for impulsive reversals, you know that. But the target that was also communicated in the last few days is sort of ideally between 19 and 18 dollars. Um, but um, it most likely is going to follow here this wedge pattern. So as long as we stay in the wedge, we're going to follow it. You can see we're heading into that direction of that point that buyers and sellers are agreeing on where price should turn around because <laughs> It very clearly points towards something here um, between 18 and 19 dollars but we had a point because we are now in the larger support area anyway between 17 78 and 20 dollars um, where price can turn around at any time to rally in a third wave but we don't seem to be there yet bear in mind today we have a possible catalyst which is the fomc um, meeting minutes not sure how much volatility that will generate normally it's a bit over you know it's a, it, you know people expect too much of it sometimes because it is just sort of meeting minutes and uh, most of the facts are already known anyway so don't necessarily expect too much but we'll see i mean that is something that could trigger a little bit of volatility here but um yeah eventually we need to wait for a break out of the wedge and a break above <clears throat> the wave four high at twenty dollars and twenty would be a first indication that a low has been formed. Okay, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.